Hello, everybody. Um, this is Brother Daniel, and I'm here with this week's Sunday School lesson. I'm glad to be with you, and uh, I'm excited about what we'll learn from God's Word today. Um, let's just take a quick moment and say a prayer, and we'll get right into our lesson. Lord Jesus, um, we love you. We thank you for uh, this Lord's Day and um, the chance to study your word together, Lord, um, online, Lord. And we thank you for um, just um, being with us, Lord, and, and, and helping us grow and learn more about you each week. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, guys, um, we're just going to continue in the unit that Miss Amy's been covering. And um, let me, um, I've got a little, uh, little couple things to share with you um, before we really get into the lesson. Because um, we're talking about forgiveness today. But I thought this might be fun. Um, so sometime when you get a chance, uh, uh, see if you can't find a couple pennies around the house. Uh, maybe some old pennies that are a little bit dirty. And you can do this uh, little experiment later. Um, but if you can go find some old pennies that are dirty um, and to, to make these pennies clean other than just like running through the water, we got something we can make. Uh, and to clean your pennies, um, you would need four tablespoons of vinegar. You've probably got some of that in the kitchen. If not, you would need to get some vinegar from the store. Four tablespoons of vinegar and one teaspoon of iodized salt. And just put that in a little small cup or small jar and mix it up, okay? Just get that mixed up. You can take your dirty penny that you found and put it in that. Let it set for about 30 seconds, okay? Pull it out. Wipe it down with a pepper towel and your penny should be good and clean. Okay, if not, just put it back in there for longer. And um, basically, <laughs> that's really what uh, Jesus has done for me uh, and continues to do uh, because uh, I'm a sinner, you know, and, and what sin is is when we disobey Jesus and um, Jesus, what he did for us has made us clean again, just like you can make with your penny with the vinegar and the iodized salt. <laughs> so Jesus knew our lives would not be perfect because of our sins. He forgives us and he makes us new, just like you make that penny shine like it's brand new again. So I thought that might be fun. Uh, our verse for this unit comes from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. And it says, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving one another, just as God also forgave you in Christ. So compassion is to feel concern for someone um, in trouble, someone who's, in, who's sick or in need. You're, um, you show love to them, and Jesus has shown so much love to us and what he did for us. Um, and, and he forgave us uh, of our sin. He, he forgives us of our sin when we repent, we turn from our sin, and we believe in him. And that's what this story is about today. Our scripture will be from Matthew chapter 18. So we've looked at our two books of the Bible so far, Ephesians and Matthew. Uh, both of those will be in the New Testament in your Bible, because kind of on the back side of that Bible. You can look those up in the index in the front. Um, I was checking out online to see if I could find like a game online uh, for sorting the Bible, books of the Bible, and I found some that I couldn't get them to pull up on my computer today. So um, maybe that's something we can do next week because I'll be with you again next week while Miss Amy is on vacation. So let me pull our scripture up today, Matthew chapter 18. You can pause me, like I said, if you want to go grab your Bible and read along with me. It's going to start in verse 21 through 35. 
And let's read it. Then Peter approached him and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? As many as seven times? I tell you, not as many as seven, Jesus replied, but 70 times seven times. For this reason, the kingdom of heaven can, can be compared to a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. When he, when he began to settle accounts, the king, one who owed 10,000 talents. So one guy owed a lot of money to this king. One who owed, about, who, who owed 10,000 talents was brought before him. Since he did not have the money to pay it back, his master commanded that he, his wife, his children, and everything he had be sold to pay the debt. That would be awful. At this, the servant fell down before him and said, be patient with me and I will pay you everything. Then the master of that servant had compassion. Remember that word? He had compassion. He released him and forgave him the loan. That servant went out and found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. That's not a lot of money compared to what he owed his master. He grabbed his fellow servant. He grabbed him, started choking him and said, pay what you owe. At this, his fellow servant fell down and begged and began to beg him. Just like he had begged his master and the other man. He began to beg, begging him, be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he wasn't willing. Instead, he went and threw him into prison until he could pay what was owed. When the other servants saw what had taken place, they were deeply distressed and went and reported to their master everything that had happened. Then, after he had summoned him, his master said to him, you wicked servant, you forgave, I forgave you all that debt because you begged me. And he, he had compassion on him. Shouldn't you also have had mercy on your fellow servant as I had mercy on you? And because he was angry, his master handed him over to the jailers and to be tortured until he could pay everything that was owed. Oh, so also my heavenly father would do to you unless every one of you forgives his brother or sister from your heart. Wow, that is, that's amazing. We're to forgive our brother and sister from our heart. And this, this story, this, this parable is a great picture of what Jesus did for us. When we ask for forgiveness, like the, the first servant asked forgiveness of his loan of large money, a large amount of money, the, the master forgave him. And we've sinned against God. We owe a huge debt against him, one we can never pay. I mean, it's, it's not possible to pay. We don't, we're not perfect. Um, and because of Jesus, we can be forgiven. And then if we don't forgive other people who sin against us or owe us, like in this story, we're just like the first servant. And, you know, ultimately, if, if, if that's our condition of our heart, um, then we may have never repented and, and believed on Jesus. Um, and that we'll be like the, the, the first servant who, when his master found out um, that he wouldn't forgive others, um, it, says, it says that he was sent to jail and to be tortured until he could pay everything we owed. We know we can't repay 
God. If God did that to us, we would never be able to repay it. We would always be tortured in a terrible place. Uh, but thanks be to God, God doesn't want that to happen. And he sent his son to die on the cross for us. And because we've been shown such incredible love, Jesus is working in our life that we will forgive our brothers, our sisters, and those who sin against us. And that's the reason why. I and mean, when we do that, people ask us, why would you forgive me? We can tell them, I have been forgiven so much. And share the good news with them that God sent his son. And it's just, um, that's just such a good parable. And it fits right with what God is doing in our life in sending Jesus. Well, let's look at our next little section here. Um, have you guys ever said, uh, has someone ever said sorry to you and you feel like they never, they didn't really mean it? That happens sometimes, doesn't it? The servants in the story were begging. They, when they said they were, they were kind of sorry and they, they didn't, they would pay the money back. They meant it. If a servant had asked the master, I'll, I'll pay you back when I can. Just, just let me go. Master wouldn't let them go. He had no, they were sincere. And we know when we, uh, sometimes when people hear people apologize, they're not really, they don't, they don't sound sincere. So they're not. Um, we need to forgive others because Jesus forgave us as we talked about. And we know that, um, you know, just because sometimes we'll, uh, if we're like in a situation with a bully, um, doesn't mean if we forgive them, we need to stay around them or, or maybe play with them. Um, but, you know, in our heart, we just don't, we don't want to harbor that anger in our heart. It reminds me of a song, um, uh, and maybe by Matthew West called Forgiveness. Um, they said it'll set the they'll set you free. Um, and when you forgive someone, it says the, the, the prisoner that it really frees is you. Um, it's like when if, if that first servant had forgiven his second servant, the prisoner that it, he really would have freed was himself. Um, obviously the second guy would have been set free too, but um uh, and then there was another song about forgiveness that came out around the set, same time in seven times 70 sign, seven times 70 times there's healing in this place tonight. Uh, so if I find those, maybe I'll try to post them uh, later on this page. That, that way you guys can listen to them. Well, I know this was kind of short guys, uh, but um, when you get a uh, chance, maybe after this video, just take some time and read this story to yourself in the Bible. It's, it's at the Matthew chapter 18. Uh, it's at the end of chapter 18, uh, verses 21 through 35. I'm looking forward to uh, doing this again with you next week. And um you all, you all just have a great week. I miss seeing your lovely faces. Uh, send us a message. Send me a little video or something. You can just send it to the church page or or to me. Uh, however you want to do it, Miss, you can send it to Miss Amy. Just uh, that will kind of, uh, I hope this brightens your day and uh, it would certainly brighten ours as well to hear from you guys. Let us know how you're doing. Uh, let us know what you've been up to this summer. I see pictures of some of you guys out doing your activities and whatnot. Uh, so that's great. I'll, I'll see you guys later. Uh, this, I guess we'll just say a short prayer. Lord, thank you for this uh, the beautiful truth we talked about today, Lord. Thank you for forgiving us. Help us to forgive others. Uh, we love you so much, Lord. Thank you for this church family. Um, Thank you for being just such a good God, Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.